What is more important, that we as homo sapiens resolve climate change or that we resolve the relationship between man and nature? It's more important that we resolve the relationship between man and nature. Because if we can do that, climate change will not exist. We have to find a way to cohabit, to work together, and to listen to each other. You have to know that nature is what's calling the shots. The clock is ticking, and the consequences of our action or inaction are more evident than ever. Climate change and the nature laws threaten not only our environment, but also our social structures, economies, and very way of our life. To confront this crisis, we must embrace two fundamental principles, radical collaboration and science without boundaries. This, I believe, is the only way to avert a catastrophe and forge peace with nature. Let's be under no illusion. This is the greatest existential threat we will collectively face, and the scale of the challenge in front of us cannot be underestimated. It is vulnerable communities, many of whom are here in Africa, and who have historically contributed the least to current climate change that continue to be disproportionately affected. In Africa alone, 6,400 animals and 3,100 plants are at risk of extinction. Since 1970, the population of vertebrate species in Africa is estimated to have declined by 30%. Concerns that some 20% of Africa's land surface is estimated to be degraded due to soil erosion, salinization, pollution, and loss of vegetation. Again, concerned that the Congo Basin, one of the world's lungs, is losing an estimated 500,000 to 1.2 trillion, a million hectares of tropical forest every year, resulting in 30% decline in tree cover across large stretches of the African tropics our blue economy, once projected to grow to 405 billion US dollars by 2030, is now contracting by an estimated 30% due to mass coral bleaching because of climate change driven ocean acidification, plastics pollution, and poleward marine life migration. The effect of climate change and the nature laws knows no boundaries. They are global phenomena spanning countries and continents, and therefore our solutions must transcend national interests and political divides. The future of our planet hinges on our ability to radically collaborate across borders, disciplines, and sectors. From climate modeling to renewable energy innovation, the greatest advancements are born from global cooperation. This collaborative spirit is at the heart of Oppenheimer Generation's research and conservation, and it must be our guiding principle as we continue to tackle climate change and nature loss head on. We need to listen to indigenous people and local communities whose relationship with nature teaches us invaluable lessons about sustainability and stewardship. We need to amplify their voices in our scientific discourse and integrate traditional knowledge with modern science. In doing so, we can develop holistic solutions that respect both our environment and the cultures that inhibit it. This international financing must be seen as an investment, not a cost. One that will create high economic returns, 
and avoid massively accelerating future costs associated with the global existential threat of climate change and the nature laws. Fundamentally, if we want to maintain a livable planet, urgent investment is needed now to conserve intact ecosystems, mainly in the developing world. There is an Ethiopian proverb that says, the one who is mistaken is the one who does nothing. For too long, the world stood by and did nothing, and we are now in the 11th hour. Our planet's future depends on our willingness to work together, to transcend boundaries, and to put our shared humanity first. Together, we can create a world where innovation flourishes, where knowledge flows freely, and where humanity learns to context coexist with the nature rather than exploit it. So let's unite in our quest for solutions. Together we can avert further climate catastrophe. Together we can make peace with nature. And together we can make a lasting impact for generations to come.